Strategy First Studios. Not only is it their definitive franchise, but it's, technically speaking, one of the best games ever made. Um, and I will be explaining why, or showing you, in per se, in this Let's Play of mine, the very first one I ever made. Or I'm ever... I'm going to make more after this, hopefully, if I do a good enough job, that is. I'm going to try and be entertaining, as well as being inter informative, showing a game that is kind of obscure I would say it's less obscure than it was I mean it's it's gotten a third game and it was terrible but they still got a third game out of it um Disciples 2 is actually gaining popularity since now you can buy it on Steam I'm actually playing the Steam version of the game which is um which I got it for like 10 bucks and the exp the expansion packs are only like a dollar each, which is very nice. So this game is highly available, and hopefully I'll convince somebody to actually purchase it. Perhaps. Um... Son of a bitch, who is calling? I'm your host, Jake Nubbin, and we're actually going to be covering, uh, in this game, the campaign, of course. I'll be doing maybe a skirmish if I do a good job with this with this let's play, of course. And we're just gonna start off with the empire, so, you know, just to keep it simple. Uh, I'll do the I'll do the dark prophecy campaign. I'm probably not gonna do the second one, and I'm probably only gonna do two of the actual campaigns. Um, Shark Lord, what the hell? Um, you choose your lord here, and this is basically you. And <laughs> that guy's really epic. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. He's he's like Santa Claus steampunk shark lord. Oh, that's why I named him because in my practice profile, that's who I picked. Oh god, you know what? I'm going to pick him again cuz that guy's just so awesome. Steampunk Santa. <laughs> oh god. Um I'm you can either be a warrior lord, a mage lord, or a guild master, and you'll see in a bit how these would affect the game in their own context. I'm going to be the Mage Lord because the main Warrior Lord perk is that you uh, heal every level or every uh, at the end of your turn. But since my since the since the Empire have healers, I don't really need that. So I'll just be the Mage Lord so I can learn lots of magic and lightning and crap. I really wish you could hear what was what's being said here. I'm really sorry for the sound quality. It's it's awful, seriously. I I'm, I'm sorry. My audio recording device can only record my voice and I don't have a line to tap in to my computer. And so you can't actually hear what's going on in the game. You aren't missing much in the actual gameplay version or in the actual gameplay, but um these this game is beautifully narrated and has some astounding music and atmosphere and, and I'm, I apologize up front that you can't hear it. Oh my god, it's just gorgeous. If you really want to know the deep story behind this game and what I'm actually doing, you can read what's going on in the text scroll if you're really that interested in it. But as for right now, I guess that isn't going to be a problem. Um, I played this game during the Bronze Age of PC gaming, as I li as I like to call it, when I where I have a lot of obscure PC games, and I may play more of them if this one turns out to be a good idea, because there's a lot of old PC games that have just been forgotten, like Impossible Creatures and Anachronox and stuff like that. I think that'd be very great. All right, beginning of day one, and my first leader, hmm, I don't know. It's a mage to start off with, so I'm going to call him... I'm going to call him Hogdolf, because... Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not Sana's name. It's Dumbledore and Gandalf, so I'll call him Dumbdolf. <laughs> yes, perfect. You have arrived at last, my lord! I won't, okay, I won't do that. He'll. Ju he's just saying that... You have to go burn some stuff down and defeat the bad guys, which are the demons in this skirmish. There are the undead hordes, the Empire, which is me, and the Empire isn't evil in this game. There's the demons, of course, and 
Mm, I think I should have the spellcaster instead of the warrior. Yeah, that works. Um, I'm going to take the health potions with me. And there's also the dwarven clan. In the expansion pack I have, you can add the elves. But that won't be until a bit later. I may do the elven campaign because I've never played it before. I just recently added it. So it moves sort of like... An, it, it moves the characters around like you were in a board game. With like 20 spaces each. Or different moving spaces depending on what lord you chose. For your starting one. Or depending on which guy you're actually moving. This one here, this mage guy, is an effective ranged user and doesn't have any special perks besides the fact that he's a ranged fighter. I'm going to create more leaders later that have other powers like the ranger which can move very far and the warrior which is a generally tougher opponent than my ranger. I mean my um my magic lord. And then there's also a thief, which I don't use ever, because I think they're a pretty big waste of money. And an archangel, which is a rod planter, and I'm going to need about three of them. But in the beginning, you don't get a lot of money. So I'm just going to research some magic. Oh wait, I only have 25 magic runes. Well, never mind. I'll just, I'll just end my turn there. Demon fire shall engulf your cities. Yep, that that's that's really good. Now this RTS sort of game seems like you need to only capture the enemy citadel, which this is my citadel. But this person here defends the city with her life, and she is awesome. She has she cannot be beaten almost. Only like level five enemies with like a really good and strong team behind them can only even hope to defeat her. So this beginning is mostly going to be consisting of me trying to get my dudes level up. Leveled up to a reasonable degree where they're, where they're actually going to be able to defend themselves and all that. Right now my little Squire there can't really do a lot of damage and his health is very low, but he's going to turn into a level 2 warrior in a bit here. In a Pokemon-ish style leveling up system. Yay. And that's basically all I'm going to do for my first turn. The Later on the turns are going to be very long and consist of a lot of moving around and keeping track of where all my dudes are. Right now, the demons, I can't see what they're doing, but they are they are up to no good, definitely. My lord, many nobles have fled the capital, and you haven't seen that at all. Erhorg... Erhog? Er the Erhog disciples are surely behind this. Oh, well, of course. I mean, with a name like Erhog, of course he has to be evil. Oh. That that treasure chest is just laying out there, just for me to take for the... Ugh, wow, it's not defended by anybody. But it's in a box and everything. I guess it was a present by those fleeing disciple guys. Alright, I'm gonna make another dude. And I'm gonna get a... I'm gonna get a ranger. I'll just call this guy, uh, Wolfwood. You know, for fun. For shits and giggles. And all that. Um, he's my ranger unit, and he's going to be able to move around quite easily, actually. I'm not going to take him out of the tower now, because he has three leadership points, which means I can fill up one more space in this little bar there. And I'm actually going to wait till I can get another acolyte, because I like to be able to heal people. Having a healer, having a healer on your team is very essential for this game because it's a big pain in the ass to heal anybody in this game. If you're not a warrior, if you're not the warrior lord type, or if you aren't the empire, 